go! Hello everybody, welcome to another Arkham Horror List video. Today we're going to be talking about our top five favorite art on treachery cards. Let's dive right in and get this going. Number five for Bryn is Abduction. Yeah, I just I just like this, uh, like the color scheme of this piece of art. And it's uh, like both, both the people are creepy. Why would you want to steal a creepy doll child? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think it's just, it was on my list. It was on like the 11 or so that I made tabs of because I was like, this one's nice. Uh, I think it's creepy. It's, it's cool. One thing mm -hmm. that I noticed in all of our lists was that we used, the majority of our cards are from the later cycles when they weren't reusing their art from the... Uh, yeah. Like eighties or the, whatever. The living card game as much because that's like where a lot of this art was from in like ages ago. So, um, my uh, number five is eager for death. If you give me a whipper will, I'll run to the ends of the earth for it. I I just love all these cute whipper wills sitting in the trees and that one in the front with his head cocked. Like, oh, we're gonna kill you. This means you're done. I just think it's, uh, I like it. it. It works for me. You gotta love it. And there's that one on the tree who's looking to the left. There's so many whippoorwills there. It's cute. There's a lot of whippoorwills there. And they're waiting for you to die. That is a lot of whippoorwills. Uh, Travis, you're number five. Uh, I like this card a lot. Or this art a lot. Because... Well, I wish there was, like, just one big spider kind of on it instead, like, the one that left Natcha instead of, like, all these other little spiders. This is actually, like, pretty much exactly how I imagined at Lash Natcha's web when I was reading about it in uh, some of the uh, Hyperborea stories. Yeah. And I, I really like the contrast. Of, like, you have the blue spiders, and then it's just red against black, and everything looks, like, just it's nice and symmetrical. Yeah, and it draws your and eye to like the a, center, which is really yeah. nice. It's just a nice web. It is. I I would get caught in it if if someone asked. Yeah, I look at it and I'm my brain's like, yes, this is pleasant to look at. Yeah, I would. Yeah, and then next thing you know, you're being eaten by a spider. Yeah, in spite of the large spiders. Yeah. All right, let's go to our number four, starting with Bryn, which is the Yaw Law of Yigroth Discord. Love how this one's, uh, you know, like, he's clearly, he's got the mask, it's the face. That's what I like about this one. It's true. No, it's, yeah. uh, uh, when they, uh, spoiled, when they had all the key art and all that for the Dream Eater cycle, this one caught my eye, and I was like, yeah. who's this dude? Apparently this dude's Yigroth, right? And he likes to make crazy rules that you have to follow. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Uh, Bryn was saying when we were making this list that all the the laws have are the same pose but different colors, and he chose this one because purple is best. And as I can see from <clears throat> Travis's picture, we all agree purple is best. Yeah. Uh, my number four is Meddlesome Familiar. Uh, <laughs> I love this rat biting this dude's leg. Uh, it's kind of funny. I was as I was going through all this list, the difference for me between when I was making my list for player card, player card art and all that, uh, where I liked like the depressing or like the huge scale and then so far going on this, these ones are, they're both a little bit, they're not, they're a bit more tongue in cheek, right? I, I think this, honestly though, this Meddlesome Familiar, the Brown Jenkin art is fantastic. Like, it reads really well. And uh, it's freaking strange, but also really funny. Travis, what's your number four? Uh, Primordial Gateway. This is another one of the ones where I like. I really like the contrast, the blue and the purple, and the uh, it's like the black hole. Yeah. And again, it looks like a, a gateway to wherever Azathoth is. Yeah, yeah. Azathoth. It's another one where I look at it and the colors, and it makes my brain go, "Yes, I, it's good." I think while looking through, I think the circle undone, the treachery cards just generally have the best art. Of, the, of all the yeah. cycles, I think. I also really like how you can see inside it. Like, there's like a mirrored mountain on the yeah. other side. It's and, like yeah, it's really blue. cool. And I imagine that there, the sky must be purple. Yeah. 
Whoa. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Number three, Bryn, you got fragile thoughts. Man, I just love everything that's going on in this in this artwork. There's like eyeballs down on the right hand side. We got the bloody torn pages. And oh yeah, I never noticed those eyeballs floating up on the top left. No, it's just a, it's just a sick piece of art. Yeah, it looks like it's a brain in the top left. It literally yeah. is just like an exploding yeah. head because they found this notebook and they were like, I can't comprehend it. Yeah. Yeah, that's sick. It has a lot of action too. Like it feels mm -hmm. like it's moving. Like those lines, the motion lines in the top right, works really well. Uh, my number three is Ultimate Chaos. Uh, looking at this picture, it's uh, I like the colors. First off, the oranges and the reds and the yellows. But I also like that it, it literally is just like actually what the card says. The Ultimate Chaos. It's it looks like a like to me. A bunch of skulls exploding and shifting around some dude who's exploding inside of the skull. His mind is literally being blown, and his skull has shattered and is shifting around his head. And that's pretty metal to me. Because, like, you can see there's the chunk of teeth that are floating just above the other teeth that are in the background. You see the general shape of a skull, but it also just could be, like... This also could might not even be a person. It could just be, like... Azathoth, but it does look like there's someone's face in the back. There's the nose and the eyes and the mouth that are screaming, but I just like this card because it's not easy to grok when you first see it, and you kind of just have to look at it, and then you just see that it's a really good rendition of whatever the fuck it is, <laughs> but it works for me. Travis, what's your number three? I got Radical Treatment. Um, I, mean, I wouldn't consider myself a particular squeamish person, but, like, this art actually makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like, just the idea of someone sticking a needle into your eye while you have to watch them is, like... No bueno. Yeah. Yeah. Have you played Dude, the... Dude, I was about to perform a lobotomy on this guy, and that's also, like, not good, because he's awake. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of, it's like, just... he's crying, and there's sweat, and he's just like, no, thank you. Yeah. Like, it's just, there's, like, a lot, of, a lot of violence and, like, some even some gory art in the game, but there's not much that, like, you look at and you're just kind of like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. It makes you, like, cringe a little bit. If you don't like this art for people watching at home, you should play Dead Space 2, because the climax of that game is pretty great if you don't yeah, like, like this kind of thing. It's the difference between, like, imagining getting a where you're like, oh, yeah, that would suck, and, like... Imagine sticking a toothpick under your toenail and kicking a wall. Like, <laughs> it wouldn't cause that much damage, but it would, you just, you don't want it at yeah. all. No. Oh, God. No. All right, let's go on. I need to get this, to this uh, toothpick out of my foot. I feel it. Bran, your number two is Hunting Shadow. I just really like that. Uh, there, there were a couple of, couple of them like this where there's like something invisible in the rain. And you can you can kind of make out the outline. Yeah, I ended up picking picking this one because uh, it has uh, it has a nicer nicer color scheme than the rest. Most of the rest of them are pretty gray. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a, it's just a cool effect. Yeah, no, it, it looks really nice. The colors are really great in that one. And what's that dude doing? My number two is demonic piping. Once again, uh, the flavor they had for Azathoth. Just, I think, they really knocked it out of the park. Compared to probably only Haster for me, for someone that you feel throughout the whole game. Just both in the design and then also in the art. Like, the scale on this card is crazy. There's the Pipers who are having the party of a lifetime, making sure that Azathoth, you know, keeps doing what he needs to do. Azathoth is around them, but is his mouth open or is that just, like, a hole that exists somewhere within him? And then inside of his mouth, or just the hole, there is Earth and the Moon far in the distance, which shows just, like, the pure scale, even of just Azathoth. Like, there's just so much that this card just, like, knocks it out of the park for me. Travis, you're number two. Uh, this is Ancestral Fear. I really like the style of art for this, mm -hmm. where they've chosen to use a cave painting yeah. as a way to convey, like... That is something, not just that should be scared you, but it's something that like is innately scary to humans. It's yeah. something that we've always been scared of, 
And there's like a very good chance like ingrained in your DNA or your lizard brain that you should be scared of it. Uh, one thing I also like this one is that um, a lot of these games, the whole storyline is that these things are ancient and old and primordial. And this is the first card that truly also makes you feel that, right? That these things mm -hmm. have been here, told about and feared since like the ancient ancestors. And I think it tells a story so much better than the majority of other cards in this game. It really does. Yeah. That's why I'm happy. This was, this was like my number six, and I, I'm glad it was on this list. I just couldn't get... When you guys see my number one, you're going to be like, really, Justin? That's your number one? Yeah. And you, and, I mean, I do think Ancestral Fear is one of the best storytelling cards just in that. But let's go to our number ones, starting with Bryn, which is uh, Maddening Delusions. So I'm going to put this up on the screen. This is the actual art for the card, and I'll let you take it away, Bryn. Okay, yeah, I was, I was going to say, it's really hard to make out pretty much all of the cool things about this card at card size. Uh, partly just because pieces of the art are cut off, and partly because everything's so small. But when you, when you, start, looking, when you start looking at this card, there's like, it, it looks like a diner. And then you start, you start, uh, you start paying attention to all, all the little things, like the guy sitting on the left. He's blind, but he's reading a newspaper. He's and got he's gills. He's got, oh, he's there's a bloody it. hand. Yeah, there's like a bloody handprint on the restroom door. Yeah, he's also eating there's, eyes. Yeah. There's something living under the counter uh, behind, uh, behind the waitress. The pie she's cutting into is bleeding. Like, this woman has a tentacle for a hand. There's something on the floor over in, on the, on the right-hand side. Yeah. It looks like there's the, like so many, so many neat things about this artwork. Yeah, it looks like the dude behind the dude even, like, I don't know if it's just me seeing things, but it looks like his face is also messed up. I think this card's just yeah. really fun. There's tons to discover in the art. Yeah, it's just really cool. Yeah. And it is it's a shame. It's unfortunate that, yeah. It's a shame it's that you can't see it on this card. Exactly. Like, the, even just the, just the frame cuts out so much of it. Yeah. Uh, my number one is Psycho Pump Song. There's a whippoorwill. I told you I would go to the ends of the earth for a whippoorwill, and I'm not lying about that right now. Uh, I think this card is the great. <laughs> it's so good. We always joke. I mean, Travis last week when we were doing this list, and he just said, imagine how you would feel if you were depressed lying down in the woods, and then a bird just sat on your head and started singing. And it was just like, you're like, oh, no, I'm done. And I think it just works so well. The art on this card is incredible, and it's so funny, and it's so good. That bird looks so innocent, doesn't he? But we know. We know. And Travis, you're number one. Uh, my number one is Melson Familiar. I really, I just saw this art, and I was like, this is hilarious. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, exactly the same thing that happened with me. Yeah, like, this guy doesn't even look like Brown Jenkins or a rat. It's just, like, a normal guy's head with, like, some rat teeth. And yeah. they drew the rest of the rat. <laughs> you know like he's got nice hair and everything it's just just like it's like a normal like reasonably attractive guy and then the rest of his body's a rat and she on some guy's ankle like you wouldn't notice yeah <laughs> it's so funny it is yeah so that was our uh top five favorite treachery uh card arts uh let us know in the comments below uh, if there's any other art that you'd like in the game in addition please uh, keep your list ideas coming. We write them down and I go through and make it all. Just We're going to keep making them. So if you keep shouting out ideas, we'll keep making them and everything is great. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.